Hi, I'm Holly Silva and I've been a crafts expert for 15 years. Today I'm going to show you how to decorate photos for kids' rooms. So here I have a photo of a really cool car. My nephew really likes cars. He's six. And I don't know how old your kids are, but if he's a boy and he's seen cars before and I don't know, boys just like things that go groom, right? Chicks do too. But we're going to take this foam I always want to call it paper, but it's not paper. It's just foam. It's a foam sheet. And I'm just going to slice it with my X-Acto knife. Now, of course, if you're a kid doing this, don't use an X-Acto knife. Use scissors. Or ask an adult to use the X-Acto knife for you. So we're just going to trace out maybe about half-inch strips, half-inch wide strips, deep strips, to frame this, uh, this particular photo. We're going to go top bottom and then we'll see here what works on the other sides. So about there. So we'll go a little bit longer so that they will attach to one another. We'll do about the same width, about a half inch. And then we'll do another. And we'll cut it about here. All right. Okay, now that we have the outsides of our frames cut out, we're going to just set those aside for a moment and then we're going to grab this white. I really like how the white coordinates with the blue. So we're going to pull out some designs. Let's do some squares. Just very simple. We don't need anything too crazy. Make sure, of course, that you're being safe and that your squares are nice looking. Whatever doesn't work, you can always trim, right? It's always better to start out bigger and cut smaller than to cut too small and then you have a piece wasted. So we'll do four, one for each corner. Okay, now we'll set all of those things aside. Okay, now we're going to take our frame pieces and our Elmer's glue. And we're gonna squeeze our Elmer's glue out along the outsides of the photo. Now we take our frame pieces and place them at the edges of the photo. Now Elmer's glue is great because it dries clear and hard. It's a very sturdy glue. It's really no wonder that it's been around for so long. And hey, craft experts recommend it. So we'll do that there. And then we'll take our little pieces. Dab a little bit of glue on each corner. bit more there. There we go. Yeah, we'll do it like this. I like that better. So we'll straighten it up. So 
Sometimes it's nice to place things askew, meaning not entirely straight or parallel. Not entirely straight or parallel is what I meant. Uh, but this one, because it's a really cool photograph, we're gonna we're gonna keep everything nice and simple and straight. And that is how to decorate a photo for a kids' room. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please do let us know. We love to help. See you next time. Thank you.